Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Today I would like to do a review on the brand new Banana Pi Pico W, which is a microcontroller that is designed to compete against the Raspberry Pi Pico and Pico W. It will run programming languages such as MicroPython and CircuitPython. Um, so let's take a look at some of these features that are available on the board. Some of the big features include using an ESP32 chipset, onboard flash memory, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi compatibility. As we compare the Raspberry Pi Pico to the Banana Pi Pico W, uh, a couple key differences that we see are the frequency and RAM. Frequency on the Raspberry Pi Pico is 133 megahertz versus 240 megahertz on the Banana Pi Pico W. So that's going to be key when you're running some of those more intensive projects. Another key difference is RAM. We have 264 kilobytes on the Raspberry Pi Pico versus 320 kilobytes on the Banana Pi Pico W. So that should allow you more storage for some of the programs that you run. Uh, flash memory is identical and the form factor is the same. So let's take a look at what these two units look like side by side. As you can see, the form factors are identical right down to the micro USB port. So Banana Pi really designed this as a drop-in replacement for the Raspberry Pi Pico and Pico W. Here we see the pinout for the Banana Pi Pico W. So if you compare this to the Raspberry Pi Pico and Pico W, the pinouts are basically identical. So in other words, you can program your code for a Raspberry Pi Pico and really you can just pop in the Banana Pi in there and it should work just the same. So I decided to do a couple of different tests to compare the Raspberry Pi Pico to a Banana Pi Pico W. Uh, in this first test, we're going to run a calculation for Pi, and we're going to see how quickly both of these devices can run it. So let me go ahead and start with the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi Pico first and see how long it takes it to calculate Pi. Um, this might take a few seconds, so let's, uh, let's wait a bit. As you can see, it took the Raspberry Pi Pico 24.17 seconds to complete this calculation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to unplug the Raspberry Pi Pico and plug in the Banana Pi Pico W and compare the, the speeds. So we're going to go ahead and run the same program on the Banana Pi Pico. So let's go ahead and refresh. Now we got the Banana Pi Pico. Um, just on a side note, it is running CircuitPython 8.0. So let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. We can see that the Banana Pi Pico W is much faster. It only took 7.49 seconds to calculate the time. So the Raspberry Pi Pico took almost three times as long to get this done. So a very huge difference between both processors. Here's another project I'm working on. Let's say they're time circuit. So let's see how quick they respond. You probably didn't see much of a difference with the naked eye, but we could tell that the Banana Pi Pico W is actually a little bit quicker. So why don't we see this again in slow motion? Now we could see that the Banana Pi Pico W was much quicker in lining up than the Raspberry Pi Pico. So there you have it. There's our comparison of the Banana Pi Pico W against the Raspberry Pi. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll talk to you all real soon. Thank you so much for watching.